What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with some brand new AEW action figure news slash stuff for you guys. If you guys were unaware, this weekend is actually AEW Fan Fest 2022 for Double or Nothing. They're going to be out in Las Vegas. I do expect Ringside Collectibles to be out there. We should have some good coverage of everything. We are going to cover everything that they show off here on the channel. But today, we're going to dive into kind of what to expect from Double or Nothing Fan Fest. You know, dive into those things, take a look at it, kind of analyze it and kind of break it down and just see what we might could see. I'm going to predict it for you. I'm going to give you my analysis of it and what I expect to see. And you guys can let me know down in the comment section below what you guys would like to see or maybe what you predict to see. Now, I don't think we're going to have an ultra crazy fan fest kind of like we had last time, right? Like it was it was insane with all the reveals. It felt like Comic-Con with all the different news and reveals and different figures that we saw. I don't expect to see that level of detail. I don't expect to see that level of intensity, but they could always surprise us. You know, they could always surprise us. They could always come out and, and knock it out of the park. But anyways, man, let's go ahead and dive into my predictions of what we're going to see at FanFest Double or Nothing. So the first thing that I think we're going to see, guys, is going to be the Unmatched Collection. We're going to start off with the Unmatched Collection. You guys know that we got a ton of stuff revealed to us last time with AEW Unmatched Series number four. Now, I think that is going to be a thing. I think we're going to see AEW Unmatched Series number four. You guys know with the CM Punk figure, it has Jade in it. It has another MJF. We have the early version of Chris Jericho. It also includes the suited Cody Rhodes, the street gear Adam Page. I think that this is going to be a really sweet set. I think we'll see better versions of those or finalized versions of those. Maybe it'll include like all of their different accessories they're going to come with. We'll cover the chase situation, all of those different things. We also, or what I think we'll see is I think we'll actually see prototypes of AEW Unmatched Series number five. Now, AEW Unmatched Series number five is going to include Brian Danielson. You guys know that we saw the really sweet render images. I think we are going to see prototype images of Unmatched at series number five. That's going to include Brian Danielson, Sean Spears. We have Red Velvet in that series, Kenny Omega in the sweet jacket, and we also have Sammy Guevara in that set, and the Darby Allen LJN. I think we're finally going to see all those figures. Hopefully that will be the case. I think that's definitely a possibility. And not only that, but I think we'll finally see some render images of some waves that we already knew about. You guys know that in Match Series 6, we did see a Brody Lee. We saw Malachi Black. We saw Ruby Soho. We saw Santana and Ortiz. And then the last figure in the set was the Luminaries Collection, Owen Hart, I think we will see render images of all of these figures. Now, I don't think we'll quite see prototypes of these because, you know, we're still working on Series 4 getting released. Series 5 is on the cusp of, you know, it's not, it's just around the corner. It's not too, too far away. I think that we could see some render images of Unmatched Series number 6, and I think we could possibly see render images of Unmatched Series number 7. Now, Unmatched Series number 7 is actually going to be another CM Punk figure. We have Pinta, Ray Phoenix, Pac, Thunder Rosa, and Hook. So this is a very big series right here. We got some re-releases, but we also have some really good figures having another punk that quickly turned around. I think that's another possibility of seeing some render images of these. I don't think we will see prototypes of these. I would be blown away if we saw prototypes of Series 6 or 7 of the Match Collection, but I'm not counting it out completely. I think these are definitely possibilities. But we'll have to see about that. Again, I'm going to be shocked if they have a ton of stuff on display. But I'm I'm just going, putting all of this out there. These are things that we could see and should expect possibly to see. You know, these should be things that you keep in the back of your mind as we enter Fan Fest this weekend. You know, there's got to be enough to show off. And there's got to be enough of something for people to appeal to. So, they have to do some things. But it's going to be hard to top the last Fan Fest. Now, diving into Unrivaled Collections. Let's get into Series number 10 and 11. Now, you guys know that last Fan Fest we did see Unrivaled Series 10 featuring Andrade. We saw Britt Baker. We saw Miro. We saw Taz. We saw Wardlow. We saw Jake Hager. I think all of those figures, you guys remember we did see prototypes of those. I think we'll see more finalized images of those. Like, I think they will be on display. Those are going to be ready to go out sooner rather than later. I think they should be more updated. They should be better. Maybe we'll see Andrade's jacket. Maybe we can see some other things like that. You know, just better looking prototypes of those figures. Maybe closer to finalization. They may even be final, but we'll have to wait and see about that. Speaking of which I think it is highly possible that we could see Unrivaled Series 11 prototypes featuring first time in the line Adam Cole. We have Jungle Boy, Kip Sabian, Penelope Ford, Darby Allen in the army pants or the, you know, the green cargo with the half sting face paint. And then we do have Jericho in his prison outfit. So for Unrivaled Series 10 and 11 being on display with their prototypes, I think it is highly possible we'll see Unrivaled Series 12 in their render images. So you guys know the series featuring John Moxley, FTR, Private Party, 
and Jamie Hayter. I think we could see this full series in render images. So we may not see the figures itself, but we could see, you know, what their attires are going to be like, what they're going to be featured, head sculpts, things of that nature. So maybe that will be the case. We'll finally get Private Party. It took 12 series to get Private Party, but uh, we are finally getting them. So hopefully we'll see some render images of those guys. Now, outside of just your regular unrivaled figures and unmatched figures, I think that they could potentially announce some future lineups. Now, we may see unrivaled series 13 or 14. We may see unmatched series 8 or 9 or 10. Now, I know they don't like to get too far ahead of themselves, but it is cool to keep us all in the loop. We'll know exactly what figures are to come, what talents are to come. You can plan out your budget. You can do all those different things. So maybe, just maybe, we will see those things come to fruition. I'm not holding my breath on seeing future lineups released like they did last time, but they usually do that. So I, I could see it happening, but I'm not going to hold my breath on it. I think uh, just giving us these prototypes and render images will be a big deal, but you guys know that every day they're working on stuff, so they could just drop a whole bunch of ish on us like they always do, but uh, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see. However, I think on top of seeing new renders of these different lineups that we already know about, I think they're going to announce some new exclusives, and they're going to announce some new Supreme Editions. So as far as Supreme Editions, you guys know that we did see Supreme Edition Series 1 and 2 featuring Britt Baker, Cody, and then in Series 2, we do have Kenny Omega and Malachi Black. I think we could possibly see the announcement of AEW Supreme Collection Series 3, and I don't don't know I don't think we'll see renders or anything but I think they'll show off who's going to be included in series number three and who I think will be included for series number three I'm going to say that it's going to be Brody Lee and Chris Jericho that's that's my guesses that's going to be my guesses for Supreme Collection series three you know they got to go with big names they got to go with people that are going to sell they got to go with people that have cool jacket and cloth style accessories with interchangeability I'm going to go with Brody Lee and I'm going to go with Chris Jericho I don't know exactly if that's going to be the case I'm just predicting that we'll see Supreme Collection Series 3. I'm just going to go out on a limb and just predict Brody Lee and Chris Jericho for it. Just staying safe. But other guys that I think we'll see announced for figures, whether they just announce that they're getting a figure or they actually show us a render image, I think Jeff Hardy could be one of those guys that features and gets a figure. Dan Housen is another guy that could get an exclusive or a figure announced coming up. I could absolutely see a ringside exclusive Dan Housen, man. That is something that I think is definitely going to be coming to fruition. Jeff Hardy, possibly. Maybe even a new Blood and Guts MJF and CM Punk 2-pack from the you know the dog collar match, things like that. I think Blood and Guts pack is an absolute announcement that they'll make. A Jeff Hardy figure and a Dan Housen. That's going to be my exclusives that I possibly see. Maybe announcement of a couple ringside exclusives. And also, I think that we could see the Street Fighter GameStop Kenny Omega Matt and Nick Jackson and the wrestling buddy on display. So I think that, you know, we already saw images of these figures, but I think we'll actually see prototypes of them on display at the event, all three together there posed in a box or a little detolf shelf. I could see that taking place as well. So you guys know that, that that's a GameStop exclusive releasing later this year. It's already up for pre-order on GameStop. Already put mine in way back when, when it first went up, but I think we'll actually see prototypes of those figures. So we'll see about that. And then last but not least that I think we will see is going to be the Shop AEW Kenny Omega. I know that everybody wants this figure, or a lot of people do want this figure, or at least I, I definitely do. I already have, you know, a buddy that's going to hook me up with the figure. He's going to the event, so I highly appreciate my boy there. Can't wait to, you know, get that in hand and, and solve that situation. I do think that we're going to see this figure out there. People are going to be able to get it in hand. So if you're going to this event, if you live in Las Vegas, you want to grab this Kenny Omega Shop AEW exclusive one of 3,000, go get it, man. Go, Do not hold back, man. Just go pay for FanFest. Maybe meet Kenny Omega, get it autographed. If I was going Going, I'd absolutely lock down a couple, get one autographed and, you know, hung up on the wall there. But this is my favorite mock figure that they have made to date. I think the packaging is absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to review it on the channel. I plan on getting a couple when they go up to Shop AEW next week. So they are going to go up for sale on ShopAEW.com next week. So definitely be prepared for that. If I get any more information on that, I will try to pass that along. You guys know that sometimes they just drop it on us and you got to be ready and willing. So it'll be probably midday sometime, probably, you know, Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday or Wednesday or something like that. We'll have to see what the details of it are. Maybe they'll, you know, you know, you never know with that. But it is just the Unrivaled Series 4 Kenny. It just re-released with a t-shirt, a really cool shirt, and then a, a sick box. So that that's okay with me. I think it's a beautiful package. I think it's probably the best mock figure they've done so far. I just love the way it looks. So I'm definitely going to try and get my hands on a few copies of that figure for mint. I want to have one loose with a shirt, and then I also may even grab a couple more. I may even get one auto. It's just so beautiful, man. I love the way the figure looks. 
looks, I know it, it's probably the best unrivaled figure they've done so far. You guys know that the Unmatched Collection Series 1 Kenny is probably the best unmatched figure they've ever made, so I think, so I think that this one right here, it's one of the best unrivaled figures they've ever made, and then they gave him a really sweet box, so I mean, it's, it, and a sweet shirt, so I mean, it's just all around, man, but that is going to wrap up what I expect to see from AEW Fan Fest Double or Nothing there, so you guys can let me know down below what you guys want to see, what talents do you want to see. Uh, I'm really just clinging to Danhausen. I really want to see a Danhausen. I'd love to see what Supreme Collection Series 3 is going to hold for us. Again, I'm putting out a bet that it's going to be Brody Lee and Chris Jericho. I could be wrong, but I'm just hoping to see some great stuff. We will cover everything that they show off here on the channel, so definitely stay tuned, man. We're going to cover it in grave detail. It's going to be probably a 40-minute video where we discuss everything. We're going to cover everything that you guys will need to know about the upcoming figures, parts, selections, head sculpts, everything they show off, all the news. We will cover it here on the channel, man, so stay tuned, but I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you want to see? I will see you guys next time. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.